Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. Uh, for the first time ever, I'm trying to wirelessly charge my phone using the wireless transmitter receiver kit uh, that I offer in my store. Uh, I'm going to have hopefully a whole bunch more in the upcoming months, a whole uh, bunch more kits that relate around wireless charging. Right here I've got my receiver connected to my phone. This is the receiver coil. Uh, the transmitter coil is connected to a 12-volt source right here. Uh, if I put the transmitter on top of the receiver coil, it wirelessly uh, powers my phone and charges it. Uh, the wires are insulated, so there's no direct contact. And uh, But what I'm going to do is, if I rest the transmitter coil directly on the receiver coil, is it, uh, it, it powers the phone and charges the battery a lot faster. But just to show you that uh, I can still do it with about three-fourths of a centimeter, uh, between the receiver and uh, transmitter coil, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this piece of this this pack of gum over the top of the receiver and then put the transmitter over top of the pack of gum. And the phone is telling me that it's 67% and that you see the little charge indicator right there. And it goes to sleep, and that's a good thing that means that it's going to charge a heck of a lot faster because the LCD takes quite a bit of current. So right now, uh, I'm pulling across only about 200 milliamps. If I had the transmitter and receiver a lot closer, it would pull a lot more than that, and it would charge a lot faster. But yeah, this is the first time I've ever done this, so I'm just tinkering with, uh, tinkering with this, having a little bit of fun, because obviously uh, wireless charging phones is not a new thing. It's just something that I'm doing... Uh, right here just to see if I can do it and uh, you can charge it a lot faster as I mentioned depending on the distance between the transmitter and the receiver coil the uh, power will cut off between the transmitter and the receiver at about uh, a centimeter uh, it, won't it won't cut off at a centimeter but I won't have enough, uh, tr enough current to transfer between the transmitter and the receiver coil and so the phone will wake up and say oh I'm not charging anymore anyhow just wanted to show that off I've got 12 volts on the transmitter Receivers connected directly to a micro USB connector that is powering my phone right now. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the video.